Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you my board game shelf. So, it's actually expanding, it's a shelf and a half, but I'm only going to show you the shelf because these are the best games. And because today has been such a crazy day, I don't really have time for much else, unfortunately. So, we'll start at the top. So there we've got Cards Against Humanity, the bigger blacker box. And it's got a whole bunch of expansions in there that we picked up from packs. Forbidden Desert, Flashpoint. These right here are Red Dragon Inn and then a couple expansions that we haven't really played with yet. Dixit, Eldritch Horror, Once Upon a Time, Escape, the big box, so it's a whole bunch of expansions. Uh, Space Cadets and Zombicide, and there's some other things that usually sit there. I think they're in the, the bag on the floor right now. And then we've got the Mansions of Madness, Descent, different Descent um, options there. And in between, back there in the box, is Quarriers, and then a couple different like little expansion packs for different games. Um, I think our newest game, this Fairy Tale Gloom right here, we haven't played it yet, but we have um, the regular Gloom, and that's the same idea. It's just different cards. We've got Small World Realms, Small World Underground, Small World After the Small. It's a world of slaughter after all. <laughs> Definitely one of my favorite games. And then we've got Camp Grizzly, King of Tokyo. No, it's just King of New York. We didn't buy King of Tokyo. And then you can't really see this piece right here. It's uh, Ticket to Ride Europe, which is one of my favorites of the Ticket to Rides. Planet Steam, we still haven't played that yet. Puerto Rico is another really great game I like. Guillotine's a card game. Arabian Nights, and my absolute favorite is Firefly. We haven't played this in a long time, actually. I really want to get some people over and play that one. And then it's uh, the Blue Sun expansion. And then we have another expansion. It's just not on the shelf. We have the Kaladisa. Um, and this is Treasure Chest. It's an expansion pack for a whole bunch of different games from the Rio Grande. And then one of the um, extra pieces is for Puerto Rico, so that's nice. <clears throat> and then right here we have a bunch of Fluxes. We've got Christmas, a holiday pack one. We've got Zombies, Stoner Flux, Eco Flux. We have a million. I don't know. I don't even know where the rest of them are at. And then this is a Europa 1912 expansion for um, Ticket to Ride. And then Elvin and Dexter. A little expansion. It has little monsters in them. Let me see if I can get it. But yeah. Um, also, this is a Small World expansion. Uh, this is the uh, Tales of something. Tales and Legends. And so that's that shelf. And we definitely have a whole bunch more fluxes. I'm just not sure. I think they're in like a bag or something. And then we go down here. We have Takedo, Alchemist. Those are both really great games. Arena, which we spent so much money on, but um, it's kind of a cute, fun game. Pastiche, Pandemic. On Pinrick on the, uh, and then the expansion pandemic on the brink. We actually just got that pandemic up there. We bought that on Mass Drop, and it's and it's um the new original printed version with all uh, three expansions. So yep. Yeah. All right, so there we have drum roll. Haven't played this game yet. Um, we have Flux, the board game, which is a cute game. Kemble's Cascade, which I don't think I've played. I, I might have once, but I can't remember. Um, and then we have Arcadia Quest, the newer expansion. I can't read the name of that one. The other one, the first Arcadia Quest was over there. Um, this one we haven't uh, actually got a chance to play yet, but I'm really excited to play. And we have all the Fluxes, uh, some more of them. There's this Cartoon Network Flux, that's Pirate Flux, and then that is Star Flux, which is kind of, kind of got the hints of like Star Trek. Tanto Curie, definitely didn't play that one. It was kind of a silly game we got. And Adventure Time Card Wars, this is the Finn and Jake pack. Um, we played it once or twice, I think once, and it was really fun, kind of fun and cute. Dominion, Myth, and then down here we have Arkham Horror, like almost all of them. And there's another Dominion. And then Merchants of Marauders, Talisman, Talisman. Uh, and then Dominion again, and then um, these are all little bags of the portals and monsters from Arkham Horror. 
And then in this bag, we have a couple more games. We have Elder Sign, which is great, and it's got a couple expansions in here. And then we've got Adventure Time Flux. Lift Off, we bought this at PAX, actually. Munchkin Adventure Time, we also got this one, I think, at PAX. I've got Hex Hex down here, two expansions of those that we bought at... Oh, we got Hex Hex at uh, KubuCon for a really good deal. All right, and you can't see this section very well over here. It's kind of a little storage of games and some games we don't really play very often. So we have Shadows Over Brimstone, Cyclades, what's the one? Shogun? Down below there. And this is Puzzle uh, Strike, which is kind of a fun, like a slot machine kind of weird game. Um, Cosmic Encounter. Oh, there's the Firefly color. Dasa? Disa. Not sure. Esmeralda expansion and then the Jet Wash expansion, which I want to add. And then we have a Go board. I don't know if I've ever played it. And then over here, you can't really see it very well. Let me see if I can step over here. So you have Shadows of a Brimstone, then it's Escape, and then Titan, which is a terribly long game. Um, some kind of car racing game, and then a bunch of like deck stuff, like cards and random stuff that we don't use very often. I think also um, Gloom is in there. And then we have Albion's Legacy, this big box right here. Below that, Scotland Yard and Gunship. And then a couple little things. Uh, I think there's a lot of figurines to paint over here. Oh, and there is Arcadia Equestrian now with our bunch of figurines. If you have any questions about any of the board games, recommendations, or anything like that, uh, please leave them in the comments below and I will sh definitely leave you um, respond back. I we have tons of great games and um, definitely like talking about them. So if you have any questions, please leave a comment below and I'll get back to you, okay? Hope you guys enjoyed this video about my board games, a little tour, board game shelf. Me and my boyfriend definitely love playing board games and we have tons of them. And we definitely um, need to get more people over to play them more often, so that's pretty cool. Unfortunately, school is pretty busy right now, so we don't get a lot of opportunities. So, Anyways, that's it. I'm super tired and it's been a really long week, so I'm ready to head to bed as soon as I finish editing this. So, Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.